Talk to us about what's working for you, service planning. Yeah, and and just so we can understand all that goes on, because uh, maybe there's a youth pastor listening to this, and they're mm-hmm. feeling like they don't understand all the work that I put in. It's just me. You've got a Wednesday night high school night, mm-hmm. uh, a Wednesday night what we call house parties, which are our life groups, which we have four going on either in town or on yeah. campus, yeah. Mm-hmm. all yeah. on Wednesday night. And then on Sunday, we have our main junior high service. And then on top of that, a high school hangout on Sunday mornings. That's all mm-hmm. happening at the same time. Mm-hmm. And myself, I'm the only student ministries per- person on staff here, making sure that's all happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's wow. impossible if uh-huh. I wasn't planning and using yeah. my time properly right. and yeah, empowering right. my team. Yeah. So yeah. one thing that I always hear from student ministry guys are, man, I just don't feel like my team is really a part of it. And I'm like, well, how much are you planning with your team? Mm-hmm. How much is your team bought in? Yeah. And exactly. that's the importance that I want to make it's sure good. I'm communicating before we get into this process yeah. to youth pastors and maybe even other pastors. Yeah. How much are you empowering your team in yeah. order to get more buy-in and then make things flow smoothly? Yeah. Right?